Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for, you know, tuning Electrica. Uh, this is a changeover. And probably many of you, you have seen this one. I bet you. Okay? And uh, it's none other than manual. It's manual, it's not automatic. So it has a dial here. Uh, and you see with the three positions. Okay? So you have one, you have zero, you have two. So you put your main utility power right here and you put your backup that's the generator right here and then uh, zero so if it's here this power has not connected to any source okay then you can have it in number one for your main utility supply and you can have it in number two for your backup and your backup could be your generator or an inverter okay which is running on the battery all right so let's see what's inside and then you can also learn how to connect it okay if you was some kind of person who need a circuit uh for this how to connect it uh, there is a video i did uh, talking about the same change of a switch uh, but I didn't show how to wire it but I showed a circuit so you can it's up here I've linked it you can check it out and uh, watch and get to know the circuit okay let's check it okay uh, this is it this is how it looks like this is uh, the changeover itself it is housed in here so we can remove it So, uh, if you look in here, we have two blocks, okay? And uh, in this block, uh, it depends on what you want. If you're using this for three phase, because it has got three contacts. So, if you're using it for three phase, then you can use a neutral here. You can use one block for neutral and the other block for earth, okay? But, if you're using it for single phase you can either use all the contacts for phase and neutral or you can use only phase and have the neutral connected here and the earth but yeah, I always recommend that uh, uh, since every source comes with its own neutral so it's better to have two uh, breakable positions so you have live neutral for, in, for the main and you have live neutral for your backup okay so this thing I hear it confuses people a little bit, but it shouldn't, okay? So, let me show you. So, you have this part here uh, that you have six contacts here. One, two, three, and one, two, three, okay? So, the upper part, this upper part is one set of power, which can be utility power, and then this part here, it's for the next power, okay? So, if you test here and here, it responds, okay? And then if you test here, it also responds. So, that's why you see that right here we have copper bars that it has linked this side together, okay? Because when you look into like this circuit, you will find that uh, uh, you have two powers that are coming in. You have your main that are coming in from here and you have your your backup that coming in from this side and then right here we link here okay and this is where your load goes so this is where you connect your load okay so such that if this power is not present the link is just right here to root up from this side if this side there is no power the link is right here to tap whatever side there is power okay so uh, there is no way that these two powers can mix in this manual changeover. It's not really, it's very difficult, okay? Unless the entire, unless the entire uh, switch, it is burnt completely that uh, the contacts, you know, merged, okay? But when this is open, this becomes closed. When this is closed, this is open. So it's always in opposite, opposing each other, okay? All right, now. What I want us to do is to connect uh, this thing and see how it works, okay? Uh, 
the current rating of this thing here it's uh, 40 amps okay so whatever whatever load you're supplying it with so long as it's not uh, more than 40 amps you're good to go okay so let's have it connected and then we we'll see what happens we're just gonna have these two uh, cables and uh, they will mimic our two powers okay so we have two lines here okay you want us to do some testing okay. so this side is closed as uh, you had the meter and then when we measure this side it's open eh? So through our tiny box, so let us feed in our wire. Then you feed in the second one. That's the neutral right here. So right there, you make sure it's firm. Then we come right here. You make sure you use uh, the same line such that they can be able to connect that side. So we use the first two here and also you're using the first two, same thing, okay? So we have our live of the next backup here have to go through that so we have the life of next backup or for the next source so you have to put the life there then this side also okay so you are able to tell that we have two lines in here okay we have connected our live neuter right here Okay, and we've connected our live noodle. So many to supply and then our backup generator. Okay, now this side, it's where we have the load. It's where the load goes. Okay, so we have three copper bars here, strips. So since we've connected right here, live neutral. So equally so here, uh, if you look from this side, we have this is a live and then this is neutral. Okay, so this guy is going to act as our load. Okay. So, we just have him also pass here and uh, we open. So, as we said, this is our live. So, we have this enters there and then your neuter also. Have your neuter also enters there. So, after you confirm that it's really tight, so you have your two sources of power that come in this side and then you have your load that has also connected so you remember we have left this round not connected so then we have to put back this guy here so it has these two uh, logs here that's where you put it so we have to put it back like that and it's fun okay so don't worry about this. So our path will go right there. You are able to see the our earth right there. So let us just cover the thing and then we see. So you just align this one here like this. You just align it number one and then you make sure that the position where that is corresponds with this one then you just put it in and it's in okay so you're able to tell you see and now we can okay now one more thing if you've connected your changeover and uh, you're not really sure you think you might have done something wrong then you want to test it before you do any connection so you get your multimeter and you put it in your continuity then you can test for any short circuit that's the thing okay so we are able to check these to, 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 to make sure that they are not corresponding okay so if we test here we are okay we are again, we have to test between, okay? 
So we have to test here. You test all the terminals, okay? So that you're sure I don't have any short circuit thing. We can also do the same thing. So right there, that terminal corresponds. Okay. So that means that even this one should do. Yes. So when you do here, nothing. So when we take to number two, so you are able to tell that's our neutral. Nothing. So you are able to tell our live. Yes. So before you connect it to power now, you know that uh, everything here uh, runs perfectly. So you won't have any problem of short circuit. Okay. So uh, let's test it. Okay. So we have got a bulb here that can help us to demonstrate that. Okay. Power this up. So first of all, uh, I've already, you know, fired them up. The both supply are on, so we are in zero. So I want to put it in number one. Okay, so you see, in number one, we have power right there. So if that's zero, which is there's no power, and then we go to number two, and uh, we have power right there. Okay, so uh, what if? Number two is your main utility supply, and then what if number two is your main utility power supply, and then it's off? Okay, so number two is off. So, what you do, you just come right here. Perhaps you start your generator, you come number one, number two, and then you have your power right there on. Okay, so just in case. Uh, the power of number one uh, you see your generator is off then you're gonna take this to your number two okay so that's the essence of uh, change of uh, switch that's how it works and you've seen how we've done all that connection that's how it's being done very simple uh, but the most important thing that uh, you must always do is you test your circuit before you power them up Okay, it's very 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 essential that uh, you don't get you know uh, Electrocuted or you don't burn your stuff. Okay, because uh, Most times the changeover that we make for especially for automatic changeover go, uh, you know takes much uh, You know devices in their components. So if you burn them, that's a lot of money that you've lost so I really appreciate your time. Thank you very, very, very much. And please have yourself a great time. Don't forget to subscribe to like. And if you want to share, share it with those people you know that they really enjoy this kind of content. Until next time, I'm out.